Hey there, I'm Todd Rollinsford and you're watching a review of Hoda's Dream Box. What is up, beautiful people? My name is Tara Lunsford, and welcome back to another magic trick review here on the channel. Now, if you're new here, then definitely please consider subscribing and take a look around the channel at my past reviews. Now, if you are new here, then welcome. Thank you for stopping by and spending some time with me today. I really do appreciate it. So, thanks so much for being here, and hopefully, you learned something about Dreambox. I'm really excited to get into this review. I don't want to waste any more time, so let's go ahead and get into this video right now. One more thing before this video does get started, I do want to say this product was sent to me by Abstract Effects to be reviewed, but they actually don't sell this product on their website. They're not a full retailer of magic, which means they only sell their own stuff, so you know that you're truly getting an unbiased review right now when you watch this video because they don't even sell this product. They're helping me out with the channel, help me buy some more magic so that way I can do these reviews for you guys and put out more reviews for you guys. So thanks so much to Abstract Effects for helping me out, and hopefully you get something out of this video as well. So let's go ahead and get right into this video. First off, you need to know what actually is Dreambox. Well, Dreambox is a surreal prediction effect that ends with a real printed prediction. With Dreambox, you start by handing out a special credential badge before the trick begins. You then have members of the audience create a unique, unforgettable experience by selecting various places, music, drinks, and celebrities. Then, at the end of the routine, they look inside the credential to find a printed voucher highlighting the exact choices that they just made. Dreambox is super easy to perform and can play small enough for a single person or large enough for a big audience in a parlor magic setting. Let's talk about what you'll be receiving if you decide to purchase this. We get all the postcards that you need to perform this. You also get the prediction and you also get the credential badge with the lanyard so you can wear that to do the prediction at the end. Now that you know what Dreambox is and what you receive, let's talk about some more questions you may have such as how difficult is it to perform? It's actually not that difficult to do. I'm not going to say it's super easy, but it's, it's relatively easy. It's going to be probably an hour's worth of practice for you to get this down and then do your routining, know what you need to say, and then you should be able to go out and perform this. Are any parts of Dreambox examinable? Yes, there are parts of Dreambox that are examinable. There are also parts that aren't. I will say that some of the postcards are examinable and the final credential badge that they wear and the prediction inside of it is totally examinable. Is there any initial setup or DIY they have to do when it comes to performing Dreambox? Yes, there is a pretty lengthy initial setup they have to do. It's probably going to take you about an hour to do. That's how long it took me at least. And it's not hard. It's not hard at all. It's just a little, I would say, repetitive. Now, with that said, that's an initial thing. That's one time you do it, you're done. You don't have to do it again. And then once you have the postcards on you, you know, you have the box that says Dreambox or whatever, that is completely ready to go once you've done your initial setup the first time. Are there any negatives when it comes to performing Dreambox? I would say one negative is that the cards, you can't really sit down the cards on a table at the end and have people look at them because if you sit them all down on a table, they're probably going to tell that something's wrong with them, so you do need to figure out what you need to do with the cards when you're done with them. The box that they come in is a little tight, but you should be able to fit all the postcards in there once you have everything set up and ready to go. Another thing is the lanyard that you receive. It doesn't have a hole punched in the plastic piece of the credential badge, but that's okay. I mean, you can punch a hole in it if you like to, or you can just clip it onto the keyring. I've just noticed that when you just slide it onto the keyring, it kind of falls off if you're too, you know, jerky with it. So just be okay and careful with the badge if you're wearing it. Or if you have someone else wear it, make sure that they don't move all over the place because then the badge will fall off of the keychain unless you don't, you know, unless you don't put a hole in it, which you can absolutely put a hole in it if you would like to. The final negative I'll mention is the setup time, but like I said, it is a one-time thing. I didn't mind doing it because it is something that you only have to do once, and after you set it up the first time, you're good to go forever. Another negative is on each of the printed postcards and on the final prediction, it says Dreambox. And on the box, it obviously says Dreambox. And then on the lanyard, it says Dreambox. So it's really, it's heavily Dreambox branded, which is fine. But also, if you don't want to go with the Dreambox pattern or routine, then I think that that is just something that's kind of a little bit annoying. So I would have liked there to have been no Dreambox on all the postcards or whatever in case people didn't want to go with the Dreambox presentation. Now this isn't really a negative, but I think it'd be something cool. I would love to be able to buy refills of the predictions because that way I can hand out the prediction at the end and let them keep it as a souvenir. I think that'd be awesome. So Hoda, if you're watching, I would love to be able to purchase refills for the actual predictions. I think that would be amazing because then you could hand out the predictions at the end. I think that should be a thing. What are the positives about Dreambox? I absolutely love that this is a printed prediction. This is not something you've written down or anything like that. And I also love how free of a choice it feels because it really is that free of a choice. They have a free choice the whole time and I absolutely love that about it. What should this retail as? Well, this currently retails as 40 US dollars, and is that a fair price? Honestly, for all the stuff that you receive, I think $40 is a fair price, but it shouldn't be any more than that. 
But like I said, with all the postcards you get, and you have the prediction, and you have the lander and all that stuff. So with all that said, I think $40 is a fair price. Might could have been a little bit cheaper, but it definitely shouldn't be any more expensive than that. What would I give this out of 10? I'm going to give this an 8.7 out of 10. The reason I'm knocking it is because of the restrictions I named earlier, but I do love this effect. I think it's a really cool prediction effect. It's one that I see myself performing the next time I do a parlor show. Thank you so much for sticking around to the end of this video. It really does mean a lot to me that you want to watch the videos that I put out or you come here to get some information about Dreambox or any trick that I review. So thank you so much for that. And also, if you like to purchase Dreambox, the link for it is in the description down below. Now, also in the description is linked to my Instagram page. There you can follow me on Instagram at Tower Lancer Magic. There I post all sorts behind the scenes, sneak peeks, Q&As. You don't want to miss out what I post on there because I think I post some pretty cool things that you might want to find out about. So definitely head on over to there and follow me on there. I would greatly appreciate it. Now, I also greatly appreciate Abstract Effects sending me this product so I can do this review for you viewers people out there. And without further ado, hopefully I'll see you in another review that I post sometime soon. See ya!